Hey guys, so the revivalist Leonard Ravenhill once said that we in America, we get a couple of scriptures backwards. He said that the Bible actually says when you fast and if you sin, not the other way around. And I think that it's really, there's a lot to that statement. I mean, that's that's a powerful statement. But I want to just focus in and key, on the, uh, key in on the idea of it does say when you fast. Now, there was even the Pharisees came to, you know, Jesus and said, hey, you know, like, why, why don't your disciples fast? And they said, well, well, how can they fast whenever the bridegroom is with them? You know, but there will be a time whenever they will. And so, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm just looking at the requirements here of what Jesus has asked of us, right? And whenever you see it, it does say fasting. And today is, uh, the, for our church, we're starting a 40-day fast to the new year. And so today is the day where it starts. And now the, the fast doesn't have to be food, right? You don't have to just go without eating for 40 days. Um, with us, a lot of us are, you know, fasting from either social media, different things, um, you know, that are taking up our time. Now, whenever you fast, there's a couple things that, you know, I, I want you to just kind of consider. If you fast from food, that's great. It's not just not eating. If you fast from social media, it's just not finding something else to plug into that time. What you're doing is you're taking that time and you're saying, look, God, I need you more than I need this thing. I'm going to take this out. And what it does is it really stretches us, right? It's not like God looks at us and says, hmm, they're fasting. I guess, you know, like I'll... I'm going to start to bless them more. I'm going to start to do more for them. No, it makes us more able to do the things that God is calling us to do. We can hold more. It's almost like taking our bucket and we're dumping stuff out of our bucket in order to take in more of God. And so I just want to recommend and I just want to um, encourage you, fast. Find something to fast. Make it be something that you care about. And you know, no one can look down on it. It could be sugar. It could be, you know, chocolates. It could be just anything. But find something to fast and use that time. Use that thing. Use that money in order to spend time with God and to bless the things that God has blessed in your life. So, yeah, when you fast. Thanks for taking a minute.